Hello and welcome to Arca at Iowa. Um, pretty common combination it seems like. It seems we go here a lot in the Arca cars, which I'm okay with that. This is a pretty fun track. Um, pretty uh, unique, not too many uh, too many tracks quite like it. Uh, you can run anywhere it seems like. Uh, high line, mid line, low line. Uh, only exception being maybe that uh, high line in one and two because there's a big massive bump there but uh, if you can deal with that um, still manage to make that work sometimes so focus it's a lot of focus on throttle control that's for sure let me make sure I get this halfway decent oh no no that's not halfway decent at all. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Before the line. <laughs> we can uh, still try to do it. So, yeah, see? It's so crazy loose on exit a corner. Um, you really got to find that, like, the border line. And, uh, well, I found it there, and then I accidentally crossed it. <laughs> so, pretty crazy tricky if you're trying to go fast and cold tires. So, uh, race pace, I definitely won't be trying to push it very hard. Uh, initially because uh, that can happen so easy so it's gonna be more patience in the race letting those tires warm up first but qualifying you don't get that luxury so I think what I'm gonna do here this time is run that middle line instead a little easier to prevent that spin from up here middle-ish high line <clears throat> Still not great. That's not going to be a good lap at all, but... Chicken flag, chicken um, flag. Oh well, at least uh, we'll get up the field a little bit. Get a better, a little bit better track position to start. But um, you may notice my audio sounds different. I uh, did a bunch of things with it to try to get it to sound better. Maybe eliminate some of the wheel noises and things of that nature. Uh, maybe my squeaky pedals. My force feedback is a little too high. Um... So hopefully that sounds okay. Um, I've actually had to give this spiel about the audio about four times because <laughs> I've just had so many bad races lately. Um, like I've, I've tried uh, the C-Fix at Nashville Super Speedway. Um, I've done, uh, what was the other one? The A-Fix at Chicagoland. And I just kept getting caught in wrecks, like, early in the race. I mean, um, a fix at Chicagoland is just a crazy wreck fest. Um, at least the times I've done it. Like, crashing every lap or every other lap. The whole race. I don't know. I didn't understand why. But, not good. I eventually just... You know, I'm stubborn and wanted to get a halfway decent finish at least once. And I was so grumpy after getting wrecked all day. I just did a non-recording race so I could sit there and <laughs> stew in my emotions. <laughs> but, uh, finally just got like, I don't even remember, like a 14th or something like that because I hung back and stayed away from everyone. And so I was like, okay, fine, that's that's that. Whatever. So I'm not going to do that again. Um, C-Fixed and Nashville Super Speedway, I might try that another time. Um, just so unlucky when I was recording that day because there was one caution and it was right in front of me and <laughs> I couldn't get out of the way I mean uh, it just blocked my path and there was someone to my uh, in like I, I can't remember what was it they were on my outside that's what it was and uh, I got I was just pinned there and there was nowhere for me to go so um, I got caught in the only wreck that race so super bad luck and uh, I ended up coming back to that combo later that night and it was super low strike the field, uh, but I, I did win that race. But I, again, I wasn't recording because it was such a bad day. <laughs> and I just didn't really feel like I could provide any commentary that wasn't just me being moody. <laughs> so um, I might give that another go um, to give it a recording and stuff because that's a that's pretty good combo. I mean, Nashville Super Speedway is always pretty good. So um, let's see, if I had done my best lap I would have been top three-ish um, 
if I <laughs> if I had been able to do my normal good lap, I probably could have been in, like top five, but that's fine. Um, I want to be patient at the start anyway, if possible. Um, I got fourteen to one, maybe to to maybe help uh, you know, keep the wheel a little straighter instead of sixteen to one. You know, catch the slide a little bit. I got brake bias to sixty. Um, I don't like the steering offset the way it pulls to the left. Naturally, in the Arca car, so I always have that like negative fifteen anytime I'm feeling that. Um, that's just personal preference, but um, I'm also gonna just go ahead and do this. So the brake bias is set all the way to the back. Hopefully, I don't have to slam on the brakes, but should be fine. Um, I'll I'll run like a Nashville Super Speedway about forty nine percent brake bias, um, which is obviously much more even more dangerous. <laughs> so. Uh, I feel like uh, 57% overall, I, that should be fine. Um, I just, it's worth it to me to get the extra rotation on the corners, save those tires and stuff, and uh, try to navigate wrecks still with, while it's trying to spin me, I guess, if I hit the brakes. Um, it's worked out for me so far. Um, ended up P9, it looks like. Number four car, um, not too bad considering how poorly I feel that lap went. So that's all cool with me. We'll just be careful, cautious, and uh, not do that spin thing I did in qualifying. It's a, uh, it's pretty crazy here. Like it's uh, one of those, one of those things where at this track. You kind of snap loose, and uh, it's hard. It's really hard to catch it. You know, once you start going around, you might be in trouble. So, um, early in the race, I'm gonna be taking the higher lines, made it higher. But I think the uh, fastest way around um, for me to also kind of stick tires is kind of to uh, take a little bit wider entry, brake on entry to lower your speed before you get into the corner and then try to take it as straight as possible by kind of like hitting the apex Not pushing, on the low pushing, line. Okay. Something like that. Not an expert by any means, but that's how I think probably uh, I want to try to run it. One to go. Take a calm by. I also did this combo already on that day. I did a lot of racing the day that I just wasn't feeling like recording because I was like, so many races went badly. I just wanted to do some races and well, I'll need pit lane after the race. Try to, <laughs> like, lift my spirits a bit. So I did do this combo once already. And it went well. Um, I think I got fourth. And we had a great battle. That was great. Top four. There was, like, a gap behind me. And I just, it was really hard to pass later in the run. Because um, all, all four of us were, like, pretty good pace. Hey, everybody, go get it. Lap so. one. Turn one. I ended up fourth, I think, in that one. It was lots of fun. Good track, so. Let's uh, get ready for this one. Hopefully it'll go well too. Go green. Stay go second gear actually. Ready. Car is off. Be ready. It's going. Greatest jump flag. here. Man, that's not a great jump at all. Still there. Hold your line. On the bottom, three wide. Not three liking the three wide two call. Who is mine? Just trying to take it easy early in the race, man. God, why are we so aggressive? Hold your line. Inside, two wide. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear. Nice back nine. Watch out. Right, oh, Jesus. It's sliding in the corners, like, that's dangerous, man. Don't you want to make it to the end of the race? Like, three wide? Good lord. I mean, maybe I'm underdriving it, but. It's an approach I wanted to take. Because uh, if you snap loose, then. You're not catching it, really. Usually it feels like so. Well, at least we survived that. I think it's 
tires warm up before I start pushing. I think in general, I'm just not very good on cold tires anyway. It kind of happens in road racing too, like if I'm in a like Formula V or something. I always go like so slow at the start because I'm being so cautious. Like I just, I'd rather not crash, you know? <laughs> Speaking of crash, all right, well, you know. Outside. <laughs> That's fun. Still there. Still there. Stay low. There is a car on the oh. high side. You're making me nervous. You're in the top ten. Clear high. Outside. I'd like Still to clear there. this guy. He's fighting though. Whatever. Still Go ahead. There. I'm not fighting you and wasting clear. my tires. So, maybe my uh, lack of uh, aggression, assertiveness, is going to bite me in the end, losing all the track position that I already didn't have from, uh, from qualifying poorly, but I mean, we're only two spots down from the starting position. So. Let me get this car to turn. Break a little bit. Trying to take that straight line there because we're uh, tires are warm enough that I can start taking that line I wanted to take. like a pretty decent line. Let me see if I can try to take the high line this time to get a run on him. Ah, it's still pretty uh, easy on the throttle. I didn't get quite that much of a run, but... Yeah, this is going to be tough. Especially if I'm trying to uh, not burn my tires off to get one single spot. Got a guy in the wall, is that what that was up there? One maybe? Ooh, yeah for sure, in the wall good. Should be a good run, I think, maybe. No, it's not. He got a good run, too. Oh, I five kind of slides up there. It's kind of scary. Keep low. Car in front of us is Schmerz. Go low. Clear outside. All right. Well, we're top ten now. That's cool with me. You're in the top ten position. Got a last lap up. I get an idea where we where we are. Lap times. Right on him. Speaking of right on him, he's <laughs> tapping that one car, it looks like. That uh, high life car. Right on that guy's rear end. Maybe I'll try the high line again, I guess. Right enough. Car outside. Really like to make this pass. 
still there, hold your line. Stay low. This is the exact same problem that was happening in the other race. Just can't get it done. So they can fight back so well on the high line and stuff. I have to actually try the pass on the high side? Is that going to even be possible? I don't know. Shoot. I was looking at his car instead of... Uh, well, we're not going to try to pass after hitting the wall, but... Looking at his car instead of how close I was to the wall. That could have been bad. I got caught in it. I don't worry about damage or anything, but <laughs> obviously don't do that anymore. So down a little earlier than I thought there. Lift a little bit because I was getting close to him. God, this sucks, man. I can't figure out a pass. It's held up so bad. Driving it real hard. I get the best run I can. Oh, they're three wide. Look at that. All right, I'm trying to high line in one and two. Pray for me. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I kind of hit the bumps pretty well there, actually. Right, we're passing on the high side then. Oh, I hate you for blocking me. It's like you might have to pass on the high side. I got it down on those two guys, but I thought I had enough momentum to get down here too. Oh, we did it. Okay. Slide up here. Gee whiz, man. Don't hit me. Holy cow. He was really close to hitting me. I had, to, I had to dive in a little harder than I wanted to there because of it. You know it's bad when you, they get the car outside when they're behind you. Car inside. Still inside. Better not door me, man. Good lord. Alright, well. We're able to make some passes. It's very difficult to do here, that's for sure. And my tires don't feel so good right now. <laughs> but uh, we got it done. We got those, whatever, three positions or whatever. Um, and wish I'd have qualified better. Wouldn't have to spend all that time doing that. But seventh is pretty good. We'll see uh, if we can catch any more. But like I said, the tires did not like that whole process. Not at all. It's uh, kind of feeling tight, and that's not good. You can see we're pulling away from him behind us. I felt like I had the speed all along. It's just I couldn't get by him, you know.
the captain, Pavlinski, behind is now 0.8. Roll that loose. Trying to be a little aggressive on throttle on the exit now that the tires are warm and I'm feeling the car get tight because uh, if I can make the rears a little warmer then maybe it'll even out a little better. We got a decent gap. Uh, between us and the one car in front of us though, it's going to be hard to try to catch him before this thing's over, although still got a decent bit of time left. It's still earlier than the race than I kind of thought, so keep going, see what we can do. Maybe there'll be some mistakes in front of us too. Very possible. Seems kind of spread out um, ahead of us. Each car's got a little bit of a, a little gap between each of them. Pretty equal looking gap. It's interesting. The gap to Riggs in front is now 1.9 seconds. Nice not having to be on edge trying to pass those guys anymore, though, because that, that got pretty scary at times. In order to make the pass, you have to be super precise, you know, get real close. Um, I eventually had to kind of, because the bottom line was not going to work, so I kind of had to uh, hold them up higher in the corner on the entry and kind of run that middle line and force them to run a little higher so I could get a better run off. Because they were just killing me on the higher side um, whenever I would do that. Whenever I'd run the low side and they'd have the, high, the run on the high side because then they would just drive up right next to me again every time. So, passing, definitely tough. That might be why guys are so aggressive at the start because they know it gets that way later. I mean, I just, I can't do, I can't go be that aggressive on cold tires. I just know I'll spin it every time. I mean, you saw it in qualifying. It's just uh, I can't race that way, I guess. Uh, too much risk for me. <laughs> so maybe I'll suffer at a track like this where once the tires kind of heat up and stuff, uh, passing gets really difficult. But uh, you know, normally I, I like to try to prevent that just by qualifying a little bit better. And uh, if I do drop some spots at the start of the race, well, I'm still pretty far up there, so. Uh, qualifying mishap might have hurt me this race. But like I said before, seventh isn't that bad at all. Especially those are the four cars, so there's three guys in here that were supposed to finish ahead of me anyway. So, um, I think that would probably be a, an I rating gain, or at least uh, keep it pretty close what it already is if I finish here. Car navigated. What's uh, this? Yeah, 15, you fucking... Oh my god. Uh-oh, angry people. Uh, this track kind of rewards those who are a little bit more aggressive on the throttle. And uh, not so much good at that all too much. <laughs> um, prefer to have it... You really got nothing to say after that? About half or 75. Uh, those who can kind of like fight that loose feeling, you know, on the throttle. I think they do really well here. See, like there, you kind of slide on exit. Like if you do the counter steer and all that, I'm not quite as good as other guys at that, I don't think. Might hurt me a little bit. So we'll be coming to six to go this time. Pretty, uh, Pretty close to the end of this thing. Guy in front has uh, walked away a bit. Uh, we actually have a five. The number five kind of reaching us a little bit. Not uh, too concerningly quickly, but uh, I do notice he's only about a second back here. I don't think he'll be able to reach us though, unless he's really going fast. And even still, 
I mean, we saw how tough it was to pass. I'll just start taking that high line. <laughs> I'll probably be able to hold him off as long as he doesn't wreck us to do it. Ooh. Uh oh. Well, if I'm going to be doing that, getting loose out of the corner, then maybe he will catch me. You got five laps to go. Plus, like I said before, too, the tires are not happy after trying to get all those passes done. Really uh, took all the energy out of my car. My art car. I try to hit laps like that. Went about a tenth up from the last lap. If I can keep uh, consistent, I think I should be able to keep it where I am. Fighting ahead of us, maybe. That could get interesting. Let's see about that. Push, push, push. We can get this position. Hmm. It's gonna be real hard for that one to try to get past him, though. And, uh, if he gets desperate, really wants that top five, and uh, there could be some contact. Two to go. We've maintained the gap behind us pretty well. They're side by side ahead. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to slide job them, maybe. Ooh, they're close on exit. See, I knew it was going to be close. I knew they're going to be... He's trying real hard to get there. He's got him, but he's going to cross him over. These guys are having a good fight. Am I even close enough to capitalize if they uh, gather into the wall or something? I don't know. I think the uh, one has it though. He's got the higher line. It's going to help him out. He's got him. Hey, they race good. They didn't hit each other. It's a good battle. And well, well, <laughs> well done by the number one to be able to get that done on these old tires. That was a. Uh, Pretty good pass. There's the flag. It's over. Good job. Very good job. Good race, guys. Good win. All right. Pull it over. I've got some space. Telegraph that I am slowing down so this guy doesn't hit the back of me like that guy is hitting the back of that guy who's angry. Now I gotta protest someone. Great. I better not be counted. No. Okay, we're good. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I won't feel like it, but I got to be a uh, bystander in little petty baby tantrums. Well done. Well, well, well done, Tan. I heard you whining on the mic about something. I'm sure it was probably a good reason to be mad, but. Ah, uh, that's just stupid. Okay. How bad were my tires? 68, 86, yeah. I had to rip them off, and that's what the leader had, is 79, 88. That's, of course, looking at the center number. Um, too. That's the best indicator of how your tires... Uh, how well your tires have been saved. Um, passing those guys just really killed my right front. Having to do everything I could, so... Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's see uh, the accidents and stuff. Go ahead and do uh, a chopper. Sure. Behind okay, the wall. I think he pulls it off and it gets kind of scary there with the fire for a second. Oh yeah, I remember he actually hit him in the wreck. I mean, it doesn't hold his brakes. That's pretty. That's not good either. Hold your brakes when you wreck. People. People can predict where you're going to be a little better. I mean, just look at this. Like, he wrecks, and if you hold your brakes right here, then, you know, you kind of stay closer to the same spot, and uh, guys can avoid you better. Like, right here. He, this should be the end of this. He should be holding the brakes. He'll end up at the high side. He can tow or do whatever he needs to do, wait for a room. But because he lets it roll like this, he comes down here, ruins someone else's race, and damages himself further. There's no reason for that. I will say it's it's easy to forget when you're in the middle of a wreck because you're like, oh my god, what's happening? I'm crashing. This, this is awful. And it's easy to forget to do it, but you gotta hold your brakes. 
it benefits everybody, including yourself. So uh, that looked like some prediction code. They got really close, but I think that was... Yeah, I don't think they actually touched there. So that's rotten for the number one. I think I saw him get in the wall. I didn't see how it happened, though. He still beat us. <laughs> and still made that great pass at the end. Number nine. Is he getting in the wall? As the car gets tighter, I guess. You guys are hitting the wall more. Wall. This is me. Don't remember. Oh, I got the wall earlier too, didn't I? Yeah, it's because I was looking at that five. That was about as light as you can tap it, though. I think. I'm very glad I didn't grab it because it can be magnet wall in the Arctic car sometimes. So, <laughs> lesson learned. Pay attention where you are on the track. This looks like it's gonna be more wall. Yeah. See, that's what could have happened to me. I could have gotten stuck. And look how much more time you lose. I'm very lucky to have bounced off. It's like a baby tap. Mm. Kind of loses it after hitting the wall there, too. Guess I'm glad that didn't happen to me, either. Only well, could have been much worse. Don't want to tempt fate any t like at any time hitting the wall, because... You know, the car could react in a number of ways that are not beneficial. I'm trying to take the high side. Turns one and two. I think I don't even think it was the bump that got him. They just went in there a little too hard. Kind of neat, like gradient, the yellow to the black, and the red to the yellow. This he's got that class D license. My orange that kind of fits with the scheme too. All works. And gets the wall. Here we'll see what they were so angry about later. For too long, I think it was pretty close by here. Unless we just missed it. I'm kind of curious. I might go search for it anyway. But this is apparently the last lap. And uh, probably just a guy getting on the wall. Ooh. Whoa. That is. I think that's after the race is over. And then, uh... And decides to be whiny and... It's our car, too. Uh, so let's see what the big hullabaloo was all about. Why are you so angry? You just have to run into the fake internet car to show your displeasure. That's not him. Dive in on you. Did he bump you into the wall? Run into the behind of you. What have we? Was that it? He dives low. He's obviously trying not to hit you because he lost a ton of momentum right there. Um, looks like he's just really trying to pass. No? I mean, you kind of turned down on him. I mean, I don't know. I think, like, he should be higher up the track. But it looks to me like he's, well... Hard to say if he was going to be able to hold his line, but I mean, if you watch this line here, this is the line through the corner, the, you know, second lane. If you watch it, like, he's still on it. I mean, it was a huge dive, don't get me wrong, <clears throat> but that's not nearly as bad as they were seeming to make it, because, I mean, you're taking that line here. Yeah, it was a pretty bad dive. I mean, could have avoided them too. I mean, I'm sure you can look in your mirror and then you get car inside and then just keep coming down. Certainly not enough to be wrecking people after the race for. It's not. It didn't even hurt that bad. Lose two spots. Okay. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get why you would risk getting banned or uh, suspended rather because of that. <laughs> the guy didn't intentionally wreck you or anything. They just made a really ill-informed like dive. I don't know. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, seventh, sure. I uh, qualified poorly, and that uh, hurt me, I think. But, uh, yeah, and like having to pass those guys, ruin the tires. Um, probably could have finished a little better. I think I was the four car in the other race, so I got fourth, and I qualified good in that race. So, I uh, probably could have fought up here a little bit more, but 
Um, I'm not upset with this finish at all. Uh, seventh place, very solid, 20 car field. Only a couple spots off of my predicted spot, so uh, I'm happy. I'm easy to please, sure. I <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you next time.